All righty, what's good, everyone? Realistic Gaming here. So, your boy was scrolling on TikTok, and I came across this uh, Powerpuff Girls infection. Now, this isn't a little series. This is like a little standalone. I did find a series, by the way. We'll get to that uh, later. And uh, let's go ahead and react to this little standalone episode. Uh, it doesn't have a title, but it's by Run and Hide. Ooh, this is going to be epic. All right, to see the towns that was run over with infected in a matter of weeks. The Powerpuff Girls have been missing since the first day of the infection spread. Oh, man. But we can only hope that... They, oh my god, Blossom, Bubble Cup, Buttercup, huh? Are okay. Dude, what the? Alright, they don't look too scary because the art is not there, but I see the vision, man. I see the vision in this infection. Look at the professor. Holy crap, then we got Bubbles, Bubble Cup, and we got Blossom. Dude, oh my, oh my lord, they need Jesus, bro. And then I don't know what's up with Buttercup. She, she's green, but right here she's orange, so I don't know what the heck's going on with that, but... Either than that, it's pretty darn awesome seeing my childhood characters get turned into like this dark, creepy uh, infection AU. All right, now we're moving on to the actual series that I found. It's titled Venomphobia, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, I don't think the creator is ever going to um, continue with the series, but let's just react to whatever they made. All right, this is episode one. Oh, you got bubbles? I'll just wait here. All right, it says this is Venomphobia, strong virus contracted through su saliva, blood, or coughing. Venomon? How do you say venenum? Being a Latin word for poison. Symptoms be aware, nausea, vomiting, hair loss, decay, loss of abilities, numbness, aggression, cannibalistic tendencies, and loss of awareness or interest. Oh man. As you can see, look at Blossom. She got a big old grin right here. She cheesing very hard, man. Alright, it says the virus uh, derived from mistakes when Blossom had stumbled into her father's lab. Feeling stressed due to all her missions, Blossom decided she would try and make a fourth member or a clone of herself so she could rest. However, Blossom had instead made a poison. Realizing she did something wrong, she tried getting rid of the substance but it ended up slipping and the substance covered her skin and mouth. She thought nothing would have happened as she drank it as she didn't drink it, but the poison seeped into her skin, leaving interesting effects. Oh, okay, so I, I guess that's supposed to be an image of Blossom or the poison. I don't know, but it's, it looks like Kool-Aid, bruh. Alright, let's go on to the next one. Oh, wait, that's actually uh, chapter one or whatever. Alright, let's move on to the next episode. I'm finding out where Dad took her. Wait, what's she, what she talking about? Is she talking about Blossom? I mean, that's what I'm assuming, right? Alright, uh, Bubbles, the, uh, status healthy, stress 50, fatigue 63, sanity. She's, her sanity levels are pretty good. Her thirst, oh, she's dehydrated though, and she's hungry. Alright, where's Blossom? No sign of hair loss. I'll wait for Buttercup. Why did that take her? No sign of decay. Eye bags, lack of sleep. Alright, seems like Bubbles is, uh, pretty good so far. Alright, Buttercup. Let's check out Buttercup. Status healthy, stress 55. She's she a little stressed out. Fatigue 30, sanity 80, thirst time. Okay, she's also um, hungry and uh, dehydrated. No sign of hair loss. Alright, so it seems like Bubbles and uh, Buttercup are good signs. They seem pretty healthy. Alright, Blossom. Status early infection, cause of infection. Ooh, okay, hunger 90. Alright, on the other hand, as we see Blossom here. She does have widened eyes, which is a sign of stress. Rotting skin, oh, an early sign of decay. All right, it seems like Blossom might need to go, bro. It seems like why Dr. Uh, Professor X might have taken her away from the uh, two other uh, girls. Oh, Professor X status unknown? Oh, that is very interesting. I wonder what he's up to. All right, moving on to Chapter 3. I need to find a cure before Blossom spread this. Oh, dude, you can see Blossom right there in the background. She looks busted, bro. Uh-uh, oh, man. Alright, uh, Boomer. Oh, they even in implemented the boy uh, versions. That's pretty awesome, man. Okay, status healthy. Fatigue 30. Stress, I mean, 17. Stress 30. Sanity 85. Thirst 10. Hunger 10. Dude, why are they all dehydrated and hungry, man? <laughs> what is going on? Underwear virus, no eye bags, no sign of hair loss. I have a bad gut feeling, no sign of decay. All right, so at least it's intuition is letting them know that something's going on, bro. Like something ain't right with the Powerpuff Girls or something. All right, oh, butch. Not gonna lie, I forgot the names of the boy versions, but at least they have them up here. All right, status healthy. Uh, I have a stress 12, fatigue 20, static 90 again. Thirst and hunger are very low. And it says I haven't seen Buttercup lately. 
No sign of hair loss, not a web of the virus, no eye bags, no sign of decay. Alrighty, let's move on to Brick. Status healthy, stress 5, it took 13, sanity 94. And for a sixth time, thirst and hunger are very low. I have nothing to say. No eye bags, no wear virus, no signs of hair loss, no sign of decay. Right, so it seems like these dudes I have, um, they're unaware of the virus. Which is weird because aren't they in Townsville? Or I forgot what it's called. But I don't know, I guess. Let's see how it plays out. Oh, and then, oh, we got uh, Blossom. Dude, look at her eyes. It's kind of creepy. Because it's like human eyes. <laughs> but she's a freaking cartoon, man. That's scary, man. I'm not gonna lie. It's a little creepy. Alright, so uh, let's go on to the fourth part of this installment. Oh, this is animated. Cool. Wait, what did it say? Did it say, uh, I've lost them? Blossom? Alright, so how did Blossom end up in the park? I doubt, like, Professor X took her to the lab. She might have broken out or something. Which is not a good sign. Alright, this is the fifth installment. Oh! Alright, now we actually get to see the face of Blossom and... She do not look very... Well. That is not the Blossom I recall, but she has, like, this tentacle or parasite coming out of her eyeball i don't even know what the freak that is bro it's kind of concerning oh man poor buttercup though all right um buttercup status infected oh well that's not good we got buttercup infected now hunger 40 thirst 10 aggression 50 sand 40 what the f blossom i should have worn i should have worn bubbles it's fine i'll be fine eye bags fatigued Oh, okay, so she's getting symptoms now. I just see widened eyes, stress, a bite mark, attacker blossom. Oh, so she actually bit her. That's pretty crazy. All right, uh, blossom status, late infection, hunger, uh, hunger 100%. So that means she wanted to eat some people. And yeah, okay, while her dad was finding the cure, she knew it. It was her last chance to leave. With no second thoughts, she stumbled out for help. However, the voices were eating away at her with their constant illusions. Ponting Buttercup, she felt threatened, hungry even. She doesn't remember anything after that, other than Buttercup attacking her, her decaying jaw causing her intense pain, melting away. She just wants safety. Significant amount of hair loss. Alright, so she just escaped the lab because she seen she was being mutated. And she was in pain, bro. So like, you know, that's how a human would react as if they were in pain and they don't know what to do. They just like run and try to keep themselves to safe. But as we see her, her symptoms are getting way worse. Virus slowly picking at her skin with tentacles. Oh, so it's like a tentacle virus? That's pretty weird. Okay, widen eyes, significant decay. Oh man, that sucks. Alright, oh. What are you? Oh, we can see the tentacle are taking over her. And she's screaming for help in the back. Dude, it's pretty dark, man. <laughs> All right, Blossom's body slowly decaying more and more, giving up. Sooner or later, her tentacles will continue, will consume her now frail body as her paranoia grows, constantly filling her vision with hallucinations, causing her to think as if she is in a fever dream. Her dad trying to find a cure spilled uh, chemical X, causing an unruly distorted creature to emerge. What is it? Help, 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 help. Buttercup states she's okay, states she's okay, but the effects have only begun on her. Oh man, it was only a, it's watching at all times. There's nothing you can do. Buttercup won't stop sobbing. Dang, so this is getting serious, bro. <laughs> As you can read here. Well, I feel bad for Blossom because it does seem like she's in a lot of freaking pain. All right, this is the latest and stuff. Oh, okay. Next part coming tomorrow, Cologne Blossom. I don't think the next part is coming ever. Because this was released. When was it? One, five, something like that? Oh, but at least you can get a clearer vision of the tentacle virus. As it's thoroughly, uh, fully taken over Blossom's body. Oh, dang. Alright, well, sadly, like I said, this was uploaded on January and there hasn't been any other upload by the, um, by Venomphobia, which is a creator. But, I mean, nonetheless, it was awesome. Like I said, uh, I was, like, going back and seeing old childhood characters. But, sadly, we got to see them in this infection AU. But, it's pretty awesome, man. But, nonetheless, I enjoyed it. So, uh, hopefully you guys did too. And, thank you guys for watching. And, I will see you guys in the next one.